Right. And welcome back to Supernova Labs. As you can see, I've got myself a cool new hat. I've uh, just bought myself a new CPU, so uh, the guys at Scan have been quite kind by giving me a hat. <laughs> this isn't sponsored. Um, so, things in Castleborn are heating up. We've now sold three properties and on our way to sell a fourth. This is wild. I had no idea this kind of stuff would work or that we could build a community like this and it was really like I'm, I'm just so thankful for the people that have taken a shot on this so far because like it is really vindicating that a model where like I saw a tweet the other day from a, this dude who runs uh, an, op an open metaverse and I mean like great I love open metaverse stuff I follow the open metaverse initiative like I I've been looking into like Weatherverse and Janus XR and hubs and all these platforms for like metaverses and VR worlds. But there's this inherent tension when it comes to like NFTs and cryptocurrencies. Because I think a lot of these metaverses that have come out with NFTs and cryptocurrencies, always a bit of a. They're a bit BS. <laughs> The, because it's very easy to spawn out a million different patches of land all over the place. It's it, like the zero, next to zero marginal cost for them, and then you have people buying that land, which is absolutely great for them. These guys are rubbing their hands together because it's an inexhaustible asset. So there is an inherent like what this guy was talking about in this tweet was very much like oh the ethics of that whole sphere is a bit questionable and I would agree is a little bit grey because like you ultimately like people are buying these patches of lands you say to build on but ultimately to flip them it's the same thing as this NFT thing that we're trying to counter with Castleborn as like providing value beyond actually buying an NFT. So, I mean, this really set me thinking because, like, I mean, I'm fall, I'm falling into that same category. I'm selling land. I'm trying to build a metaverse off the back of, like, selling these parcel of land and then reinvesting that into building the platform. Like, am I on the like wrong ethical side of this? And after a long, like, I guess soul search, I realised that. The difference between what I'm doing and what a lot of these other NFT projects are doing and what, what we're all doing as well is that it's not just spawning out a billion pieces of land like trying to sell it to as many people as possible before rug pulling them. Like what we do is we're for every person that kind of comes in with Castleball like we sit down with well we sit with them we last them for a sketch we send it off to an artist and have that space built bespoke because what we're trying to do is we're trying to open this up a little bit more to like how do you build a society and how do you build like a working a working village within a world like i we I, I guess One of my goals for this is to build something akin to a Pokemon world. I mean, like, I don't want to. I, I don't want to like. There's a lot of heuristics that come along with that. I don't want to be like, oh, well, this guy's building Pokemon now. He said it. He said it. But like, I grew up playing Pokemon. Like, I I'm not like as as big into it as I know some people are. Like, when they're into like all the IVs and like getting the highest uh, like rated ones and like getting the yeah, getting shinies and all that. Like, that is a whole different level of dedication. But like growing up and having that world where like there's like a starter town where you start out and it like teaches you the basic mechanics. Like, they it it really. Like introduce me to gaming, and I want to be able to pass that on to people all over the world if possible. So, like, 
we designed this star town and we'll see what happens with it like i again like we don't want to make any promises beyond what we've what we've got uh but i've got in my head about five or six other towns villages cities and other stuff uh that would be an explorable world and would be buildable if only we had the capital all the time and all this kind of thing so I hope that it isn't unreasonable to ask for a bit of patience and to bear with me while I make the promises that I can keep to you and deliver on those because like, I genuinely believe there could be something like unbelievable if this thing picks up in the way it could. Like I, I, so I've been having loads of conversations with people about like what this whole thing is over the past few days and what it could turn into and like oh like the number of people that have ideas for what this could be and like how like where it could go is like is growing exponentially and I'm like whoa oh my god I'm getting overwhelmed because like I mean I I, I don't know what to what's I want to. I want people to design this world for themselves and to like be co-creating it with me but then also I've got a creative vision that I want to honor as well. So like I'm just, I'm trying to find that balance right now and like what what I say we can do and what like kind of fits into a larger vision for what I see this turning into. So that's where I'm at at the minute. So I think, like, the, ultimately the aim of this video, like, I want to be able to lay it out to you, like, well, what is this, like, larger creative vision? Like, you keep talking as if you've got this all mapped out, but, like, you're not telling us about it, so, like, no wonder we end up, to, like, coming up with things to fill those gaps. So... Imagine a world similar to the one they lay out in Ready Player One. Without the dystopia, without the crap living situations, one that's enabling people and giving means giving a means of escape to people that want to. And there's licensing deals, like there's advertising, but that's not the core of it. Because the game is the most important thing and having fun is like has to be at the core of it like i i, I see so, like I, you see it online all the time well like these large like large studios now where like there's like loot boxes and like customizable items oh my god it's like, so oppressive like how uh, you, there's got to be a way to like thread the gap between like complete exploitation of your user base and like just like <laughs> like that guy was trying to do he's like oh yeah we can we can do like up to like 90 percent of like your field of view before we start inducing seizures it's like that's like one end of it and then the other end is like oh we're completely open source like we're giving everything away like Google, Facebook, Apple, like they're all rubbing their hands together as well because it's like, oh well, I mean, you're giving away that for free. Well, we'll have that. We'll create our own. Looking at you, Meta. So you've got to create a model where people are able to make money and the system is able to make money without being overly exploitative and it being this like kind of like toxic relationship between the developer and the user base. Because like if you're not having fun, then I'm not having fun. Like why why would I why would why am I doing this if nobody's having fun? So I guess this comes down to where like I mean we're starting out with Gather Town because like they've really kindly uh, gifted us a and like 
sponsored us with uh, a 500 person world to the end of the year to just test out these systems and like test out their systems and like test out our, like this model for like what we're trying to do and like trying to grok it out and like put bits together like does it work doesn't it work do their systems work do we need to build our own all this kind of stuff and it's like it's uh what do you call it? it's the stardew valley pokemon kind of like graphic style because it's easy and because it's just a demo to expand upon that like i mean i come from a background in virtual reality so it's like i would love for everybody to have a headset to have a vr headset to be able to have augmented reality glasses that aren't like that aren't like overly translucent that can do vr without needing a bloody brick on your face and i guess the for all the love that i have for vr and for 3d like for for games and all this kind of thing like the technology is just not quite there i say quite there because it's like it's so close it's so 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 close it's like must be like less than two generations away from being available being able to do this but until then as an experiment we're, do, we're using gather talent to prove out systems to prove out a model for a world and all this kind of thing as like a place to start Maybe we can go into VR and 3D in the future, but again, no promises I can't keep. We don't have the money for that yet. <laughs> so enough about that. I want to tell you a little bit more about this world and where um, the story that we've kind of come up with for it. So... This world is set a hundred thousand years in the future. It's a world where our society, as we know it, has collapsed. And there's been an ice age, there's been global warming, like, we got wrecked. <laughs> and everything was swept away. There are people that survived and built and repopulated the Earth and there is another cycle of the Earth happening in this world. There are artifacts from our world, very few of them, but they're kind of secondary to the fact that there's just another world, another society that started up that doesn't really care or mind that there was one before or not. And in this, there are creatures. Uh, let's say maybe there was genetic engineering in the latter stages of our society. And through like whatever survived and whatever evolved from that point to today in this world, there are these creatures, like some with like quite high intelligence, some with quite low intelligence. Well, low intelligence they're just like they're, they're just cute they're just like they they keep themselves to themselves i think every everything has its own intelligence in some way and that is just a part of their world in the same way the animals are part of our world uh some people keep around as as mates some people used to farm and used to do all the kind of stuff that i don't know you know that you know the vibe like People use that. People like keep animals for all sorts of reasons. Or there are animals in the wild, and that is the kind of background law to this world. Whether it'll be like the main law, or like whether like I don't know. Like you, you, you've seen Ready Player One. Maybe there'll be systems upon systems upon systems that like kind of just all intermingle. You can like you've got all of the worms armory <laughs> in. A, in a battlefield with the uh, the plasma what do you call it the plasma sword from halo like 
that just sounds that just seems so wild to me and like that i just don't know how i mean i know epic are trying to do this and like the licensing agreements they must be going through right now must be crazy it must be absolutely nuts but i'm in a world where that is so so far away so i'm, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible like if only for my brain because i'm not the smartest guy in the world like, i just want to make nice things for people <laughs> so laid out where this could go i've laid out where it is right now and like kind of a little bit about the law i hope that kind of helps people like gives people a little bit more context as to where i see this uh they were selling these houses and this land but i'm really trying to knit this whole thing together in a way where There's as much for the people buying land and me building this and people coming in and playing the game so that there's like a nice balance between the whole thing and it doesn't feel like overly exploitative or like overly onerous uh, or like just some like pay to win another one of these like pay to win platforms and it just isn't fun. So with that, I will leave you and bid you farewell until the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, for those that are paying attention and want to jump into Castleborn for free, I'll drop a week-long uh, invite link into the description. So, you best be quick. Have a good day.